Jane here for. Um, I'm talking you through Tuesday's lessons now. We're going to start with maths again. So it's continuing with your work on coordinates. You're going to be solving problems using coordinates in this lesson. So uh, again, it's a lesson to work through. And just like yesterday, there is a star trek activity on there, but you can do if you want to. That's up to you. But the main activity is linked in as a worksheet on the home learning grid as well. So you can work through that lesson and um, as part of that lesson it's asking you to find use the vertices of squares on the coordinates grid. So vertices is the plural of vertex so that means one so that is when it says the word vertex it means the corner of the square or one of the corners of the square. So if you work through the worksheet after you've gone through the lesson and complete that please say so the latter question on the worksheet is a challenge and it will, it will be difficult and it might take a little bit of resilience in getting things wrong and retrying it and trying again but give it your best shot it's all part of the, the challenge of that particular lesson so in english you're then looking at the plural possessive apostrophe so obviously plural means when there's more than one and possessive means when something belongs and then obviously an apostrophe we've looked at previously. So during this lesson, you're looking at whether where you need to use that apostrophe. So in the cases of plural, sometimes it might be that you use it after the S. So if you work through again the worksheet that's embedded on the timetable and complete that, please. Then on to the afternoon, you've got RE and you're looking at the disciples of Jesus. So you're going to use the document that's attached to read through the story of Jesus and how he chose his first disciples. So if you read through that and then answer the questions that are attached as well, please. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.